pass out right now in my apartment, one of my roommates would probably find me and take me to the local hospital. But when I got there incapacitated and they tried to give me a shot of epinephrine, would they realize that's a deadly shot because I have hypertension? What if they used a defibrillator on me without realizing I had cardiac arrhythmia? What if I came to, but in the rush of it all, I couldn't remember that my family has a history of heart disease? What if I couldn't remember that I'm allergic to erythromycin, allergic to penicillin, to amoxicillin, streptomycin? What if I'm taking sleeping pills? Would the doctors know? What if they needed my paperwork, but it was all at a different hospital? What if they found the paperwork, but the ink was smudged, but a page was missing? What if that page was my history of epilepsy? What if I ended up like 195,000 people do every year, dead from a preventable mistake in a United States hospital? What if I were in a hospital in another part of the world where the percentages of mistakes are even higher? What if when I got to the hospital incapacitated, I didn't need anyone to speak for me or anyone to guess what my conditions are because all the information they needed would be right here in my arm. What if a microchip were able to tell the doctor about all my allergies, my medical history, and the current medications that I'm on? And what if that microchip were able to completely eliminate the need for medical paperwork? Implantable, readable microchips are just one step away from being implemented in such a manner. Since the information would be on the chip, any hospital in the world would be able to read it with the right technology. But it needs to start in America. What we need to do first is install the technology in every hospital around the country and give the chips to high-risk patients, such as the elderly, those with extreme allergies, and the diabetic. From that point, we can move on to the rest of the general population and then to the rest of the world. Barack Obama recently promised $20 billion in a stimulus package for health informatics. And this is what needs to be done with that money. Because sometimes you can't speak for yourself and a microchip just might save your life.